In this video, I'll be showing you how to change your thermal pads on your RTX 3090. So what I've got here right now is a Gigabyte Vision OC. Um, it has quite a bit of thermal throttling issues, especially with the memory, uh, the VRAM specifically. Uh, so I've got this Thermal Right Extreme Odyssey thermal pad, 2mm, and I'll be swapping them out on the memory modules. And I'll also be repasting uh, the thermal compound using this Arctic uh, MX4. Uh, this is a 12.8k uh, watts per mk um, and hopefully all I'll need is this one screwdriver and I've got a bunch of drill bits here as well. There's about nine screws on the back over here um, so one two three four five six seven uh, eight and nine uh, they'll have to take off to get the main cooler off so here goes. So I'm going to try and keep these screws in order so I know exactly where they go. Um, careful with these ones, uh, they're spring loaded. Um, I did have one pop out earlier when I tried taking it out. What you'll notice is there's three sets of uh, unique screws. So you have one, two, and three here. You got one, two, three, four here, and then two small ones at the end over here. What I've seen on other videos is once you've got the screws off the back, you just need to pry uh, the top off the back. Um, the back plate won't come off first, so just the main cooler bit will. So I can already see a bit of movement here. Um, just be gentle about it because there are cables uh, connected to the fan. Um, yeah. Might just pause the video here um, so I can concentrate on this. So there is one more screw over here. I might just take that off just in case. I, I didn't know if that had to come off or not, but better safe than sorry. Okay, so as soon as I took that screw off, this came off very easily. Um, so now what I'll have to do is just take these uh, cables off. So I've got two cables on the right here, which are the fan, and then I believe that cable on the top is, uh, on the bottom, sorry, is the LED cable. So I'm just gonna go ahead and take them off. Okay, so I finally managed to get the two fan cables off uh, the connectors over here and here. Um, took a fair amount of wriggling and force. I, I tried not to break any clips and it seems like I haven't, um, but we'll find out a bit later. Um, what you can see is a lot of uh, resi residual oil from the stock uh, thermal pads that they've put on here, these white ones. Um, so the ones I need to replace are pretty much all the ones on the memory modules, which should all be uh, two millimeters thick. Um, I don't have a caliper to measure the thickness. Um, 
So what I'll have to do now is clean up all this grease, take off these thermal pads here, which go effectively on all of these modules. Um, and yeah, we can go from there. So I'll be cleaning the old uh, thermal pad uh, residue with this alcohol cleaning pad. Um, okay, so now that's all cleaned up, all we have to do now is uh, cut up those thermal pads to the size of these four thermal pads here. I hope that's enough. So I think I've got enough. Um, let's see. Um, I did want to replace the back side of the cart as well, but I've seen people get fairly decent results just by replacing these four here. So if that works, then I won't replace the back ones. Uh, but if it doesn't, then obviously uh, I'll take it apart again and, and redo it. So let's, here goes. Okay, so I've cut up the thermal pads to the size that I need them. So now what I'll do is I'll just uh, scrape them off and apply them like this on each of the modules. And then I'll take these ones off over here. Okay, so the new thermal pads are all applied over here now. Um, now I'll just go and take those off and clean that up. Okay, the, the block is all cleaned up. Now I'll just apply the thermal paste to the GPU and then we'll go about putting the fans back on and uh, reapplying the heatsink. Okay, so the thermal paste has been applied. Now I'll go ahead and uh, reattach the cooler, the fans and the screws back in and then we'll go and test it. Okay, so the cooler's back in place. Now to go ahead and reapply all the screws. Now I do recommend something like this. It's a magnetic placeholder and it just this way I won't be confused about which screw goes where. So I'll just go ahead, screw them all back in. Uh, obviously try and do a crisscross pattern on the main cooler block. Um, it will just help make sure that everything settles down properly. And remember not to over tighten. the first time I've taken apart a GPU uh, so I'm a little bit nervous as to how it's going to turn out when I plug it back into the system but you won't know until you don't try I guess um, it is what it is <laughs> Okay, so I haven't tightened any of these screws yet, I've just put them into the individual slots. I will go around once more at the end and just try and tighten them up at the end, hopefully. I've been putting this task off for weeks now, I've had uh, all the parts ready to go. Um, Final last screw. I didn't realize you couldn't see much of that when I've got my hand in my way. Um, that one, that one's a tight, that one's tight. This one a bit more. Okay, now. Tight. Tighten. Okay, the screws are all in now. See that thermal pad's a little bit out, but should be okay. Okay, idle GPU temps are sitting at around 33 degrees Celsius and memory junk junction temperature is sitting at 40 degrees. I will now go and run some stress tests on this and I'll try a bit of uh, overclocking and, and see how it goes. Okay, so under significant thermal load, it's maxing out at 98 degrees Celsius to 100 on the memory junction temperatures, which is the thermal pads I changed, uh, and the GPU temp is not going above uh, 54 degrees Celsius. Um, 
So yeah, I think uh, I put this down to a success as this card was previously doing on this same test about 110 degrees Celsius and throttling back quite significantly. Um, so I'm quite happy with the results of only changing the front VRAM uh, thermal pads. Uh, quite happy with that. I'm going to test this overnight and see how stable it is and and whatnot. But I'll leave the video there. Thanks for watching and use the comments if you want to ask me any any questions. Thanks a lot for watching.